gonna be a quick little video here of a product that we like to print out. It's really simple to uh, print these out and get them out into Amazon's hands or uh, offer them out on sale or sell them at your craft shows. It's very simple. Uh, best thing about it is we don't actually need to be able to print white to do this. And that is of course the light switch plate cover. So you can see we choose to buy, purchase the white ones. These are the mid size. Uh, I'll put a link to these in the description, what we print on. You could print on these, the metal ones. You can print on the glass ones, the acrylic ones. You can print on plastic ones. You can print on the Bakelite ones. Doesn't matter. We can print on most of them with a UV printer. Uh, we, of course, choose the plastic ones that are considered indestructible. So we can just pop these in the mail and mail them to the customer. And we actually retail these for about $8.99 a piece. And I want to say the light switch plate covers like 40 cents. So it's a... Uh, a pretty big increase really considering the amount that you can print at one time uh, i'm going to lay out multiples on this printer this is a um the zz1s which is a small affordable uv printer that's of quality that i believe i'll put a link to it in the description below i've been using this manufacturer's printers professionally in our actual print shop and then here in my workshop been using this mach this manufacturer's machine. We have four of their machines. They've been running for five, six years now since we're recording the video. So not only you can say, Jay, this is really easy to print on because it's flat, but I want to be able to print on the screws. So we're going to print on the screws face and the screws protrude like this. So we can't just set this down and print on it because you can see, see the problem. So one thing and the trick to get around that is very simple. I like to get a piece of uh, half inch plywood that's cut the size of the bed. We're gonna set this down on the bed and I'm gonna show you what to do next right now. Okay, so we'll set this down on the bed and I actually want this to be perfectly straight across here and down the sides down here. So we're flat down around here, we're flat down up in here. I, I have I have on my commercial printers actually bolted a piece of wood to my table for this very thing. Uh, this smaller printer that we're going to be using at my shop, I'm going to need to leave it loose. But if I reference the far right side and the far front side that the zeroing position for the plywood, we'll be able to take this jig off and put it back on at will whenever we want to print more. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to lay out them, how to lay out a cover plate to print really quick. I'm going to try to do this as fast as I can with my screen editor right now. All right, guys, I know there's a printer running in the background, but guess what, I'm a print shop, so we're gonna have to get over it. So these uh, cover plates are a three inches. So let's pull out a square here and we'll make it up here, three inches by 4.7 inches tall. And then that will represent one cover plate. If we really want to get intricate, we can measure out the rectangle in the center or the outlets in the center or even the uh, holes that we might want for the light switch plate. Now I'm going to go ahead and make this little doodad here. And I'm going to switch. Oops, sorry, I'm going to delete that. We'll switch over to metric millimeters. And then I happen to know that our bed is 32.5 by, I'm sorry, 550 millimeters. So it's actually 300, 325. So that's the size of the bed on the ZZ1S. Now, since I'm from America, I'm sorry, I'm going to switch back to inches just because that's what I've been grown to learn. And I know best. So that's roughly the size of a bed, 22 inches by. 12.8. All right, so we'll take this little doodad. I'll go ahead and put it here, and I'll press Control D. My apologies. Control D, and that is really annoying. Looks like we can get it maybe three across. I was hoping for four, but yeah, on my 6090 machine, we could print like uh, three divided by 24, so eight across. And then five by 36. So what's that? Six, seven up and down. So eight by seven. Uh, this little ZZ1S, we're going to be able to print three. Oh my goodness, guys. There we go. 
Control D. And then again, Control D. And that looks like that's going to max me out. I could make these a little closer, but I want a little wiggle room. So I will hold this square here to keep like a reference line for my printing. And uh, all right, so we're ready to start popping images in these little doodads here. And my wife was kind enough to design some designs for us that I think are going to be quite pleasing. And what I'll do is I'll just set out one right now. And that is in. So I'm actually going to delete this because we don't want, we want to go ahead and print this area. We want to go ahead and print this area just to make sure it's perfect. Okay, so when we're printing, we can't leave these black lines. So I'm actually going to select this. And then we got to go into properties and we got to remove this outline. Okay, and then I want to make sure we're making this the exact size as that. Three by 4.7. All right. All right, so this will be the first one that we put on there. Uh, on the print. First, it's important to let you know that I am going to be printing this right here directly to the bed. Then after we print this directly to the bed, we're going to put our graphics in here by selecting this and pressing Shift and then left click. And then the C button, the letter C, and then the letter E. And then we'll lay this out with all of our graphics and get ready to print. So let's see which ones we actually wind up printing on the first go around. And here we go. We've got that all laid out and we're ready to print. So we need to actually go ahead and print the outline on the bed. But this is my first printing of the day. So I need to bake it into your heads that we need to do a nozzle check and print a color flag real quick. So let's go ahead and do the nozzle check and print the color flag and see how they look. Putting all over it. So here's my nozzle or my color, color flag. Looks like a color flag and my nozzle check. So it's magenta, cyan, black, and yellow's over here. And you can barely see the white here, but they look pretty good to me. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to print. Okay, now the, the money shot. So I could have CNC'd this piece of plywood, but I chose not to do it that way. I'm doing it this way. So uh, we've got the screws here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take these screws out. Don't throw them away because you need them. Like this. Now let's uh, go and mark these holes in the board. I'll show you what to do next. All right, so this next point right here, we got the screws that we need to, uh, the screw holes. We'll need a pencil or maybe a fine tip Sharpie. For this next page or point there it goes all right so we got this square here we printed and we want to line the cover plate up perfectly in the square and then mark our plywood okay so for the next step i'm gonna grab my next tool that'll be a my milwaukee battery drill uh, my wood shop's been using Milwaukee tools for a very long time, and I can't remember the last time we had to replace one. It's good stuff. So, I'm going to get a, a good size drill bit. This one's maybe 7 16 And I'm going to drill some holes. Actually, I think it's 5 16 We're going to drill these holes out. dusties off of this. You see here I actually put three holes in here. That middle one is for a surprise at the end of the video. Keep watching. I'll show you what that is. It's so exciting. Now since we picked this up in the way that I referenced and put this on, we just set this right back on the printer and it should print pretty much in the exact same place. So 
so we can get our little uh, light switch plate covers from local hardware stores in bulk. Save even more money. Let's get uh, nine of these on here and ready to print. All right, so as you, okay, so as you're putting them on there, make sure we don't have anything sticking up like this, because this could result in a print head strike and cost you a print head. However, if you print with this little cheap machine, let's see, I'm pretty nine at a time. They sell for maybe nine, ten dollars a piece. That's ninety dollars a print. So we could be making ninety dollars a print. So three prints, and we got ourselves a new print head. So. <laughs> It's pretty quick. So the 6090 machines could print about 50 of these. That's that's $500 worth of product in one one time print, 20 minutes. So you make maybe a thousand gross, a thousand dollars an hour, pretty nothing but light switch plate covers. Just something to think about. So again, make sure these are not up, but they're down in the pockets that we drilled. So let's go ahead and get this printing. You can see the designs we put on here. All right, these look pretty sharp. There's just a couple of them up real quick. This literally just got done printing. As you can see, the ink is dry. And you can check out our colors here. What girl wouldn't want that, huh? Like this one. It's like a vintage floral pattern. Something you see. You know, the Victorian era is what it feels like. I don't know why. It's like the color scheme. But something I want to point out is we did the screw as well. So see the screws wiggle around? So the screws are going to go in there. And if the customer finds it, it's going to hit the exact spot that it needs to be when they put it on. Um, I, I also, I'm sure you noticed in the print that we printed nine different patterns at one time. That way we can just reload this and print it again. So we want to, so we're sending these to Amazon. So I'll probably make, I don't know, 10, 20 of these. We'll print 10, 20 times of each one of these patterns. So we'll just print this exact same thing 20 times instead of printing this one 10 times, this one 10 times, this one 10 times, and switching it out every time. Now I can just switch these out, click print, switch these out, click print, switch these out, click print. And 20 times nine is a 180, right? 180 um, of these guys so it's $1,800 worth of prints this print took I'll check so this print of nine took 7.39 minutes seven or seven minutes and 39 seconds yes yeah, so seven minutes 39 seconds I don't know why I said 0.39 uh, and we've got to print this 20 times so let's see here 20 times seven I'll just say 0.39 which is probably point Six, 39 I have to say 0.6 so 152 minutes divided by 60 we're looking at about two and a half hours worth of printing on the ZZ1S to make out 120, 180 cover plates that are going to sell for roughly $10 a piece so two and a half hours makes $1,800 worth of gross income with the ZZ1S I think that we could probably triple or quadruple that price on the RF 6090s. So check them out at jaceprinters.com. Oh, I completely forgot. Here's the surprise. We'll do it right now. Why we drilled that center hole. Check it out. Okay, so I'm actually running the exact same print again, but on outlet covers. The exact same print. So it's important for you to know that we printed on a white outlet cover, so we didn't have to set up spot channel and go through all that stuff. You can just put it in, click print, good to go. All right, you should have suddenly picked that just off there. They really are dry the second they see the lamp. This is actually a big trade secret for footsteps in the past.com's big money makers. Hopefully this YouTube page doesn't create tons and tons and tons and tons of competition. But if it does, consider going to jaysprinters.com to get yourself a UV printer because these things are awesome and they're a big money maker. Uh, if I have time, I'm going to list these on Amazon because this is a new 
design that we started selling. They're not out yet uh, on our Amazon page. Um, I'll post those in the link. If you guys don't have a UV printer and you like them, at least you can click on those and buy them from me. Again, I'm Jay. This is my to-do list. Thanks for stopping.